Brooklyn Daddy in the house. What is up for a Monday edition of Strategy Tips? Quick, Quick hits. hits. Look what I got. Magical chest. Spoiler alert. I won. <laughs> I guess that's kind of obvious but i wanted to showcase this battle because i think it's a good example of good quality mortar play on the ladder and it wasn't an easy one it was hard fought and uh it was a constant onslaught from sani jiro sani jiro sani hero however you pronounce that you and you mas not sure what that means for all you Spanish speakers watching, please tell me. So we got Big Mama Pekka there, and then look at this on the left. We got the bandit. Throw up some archers to distract her. That does a good job of shutting down the bandit. We get one hit with our mortar, but look at this constant onslaught. We got the <laughs> battle ram coming in hot and the Big Mama Pekka. What do we do? We the log that battle ram away. Stop it from getting its hit effect. Stick a knight in front of the Big Mama Pekka. Take some damage from the barbs. That could have been much worse. That could have been much worse. And clearly, Sani Jiro is doing the split lane attack strategy. And uh, it's working pretty well. Now, you're going to see Sani Jiro does this a lot. Splitting troops, whether it's the Goblin Gang or the Minion Horde. There it is. Splitting them at the back. It's really all about this these split lane pushes. You know, trying to get me to overcommit on one side. So it's a good challenge. So I stick something, we the we arrows that stuff away, and then stick a knight in the middle. I was gonna say the log, but I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, it's all about trying to bring these guys to the middle. So what do we do? Ice spirit, stop that battle ram, log it back. Knight's dealing with those barbs, and they don't even get anything. So we're still definitely in this, but it's uh, it's a little stressful. It's hard for me to get anything going, and that was the that was the toughest thing here. Was actually getting into my rhythm of getting any sort of mortar push going. So I'm trying to do that here. Here comes Big Mama Pekka, and then we've got Spear Goblins at the back from the Goblin Gang. I'm just sort of ignoring on the left. That's a no-no. So this is starting to not look so good. There's some some major chip damage happening on my left tower. And again, here it comes on the left, the Bandit, Annoying Bandit, and she gets in there. We the log her back, but she's doing some damage. Big Mama Pekka's almost coming in, and now we have another Battle Ram. My God. So we divert that with the Mortar, and I would say... Here's where things start to turn around a little bit for me in terms of feeling like I'm able to get on the offense. Another split with the minion horde at the back there. We arrows that group, but now look at this coming in hot on the right. So we pull them to the middle, Skellies and Ice Spear. Look how nicely that shuts that down. Not very expensive. Is that three elixir? Single skellies and ice spirits in the middle. So nice, just pulling them in and taking advantage of our two towers, opening fire on both sides. We're just going to ignore those gobbies on the right. But now look at this. We're making up for lost time here. Now we can't ignore. There we go. Single skellies in the middle and ice spirit again. Same thing to counter, just completely <laughs> shuts down the bandit. Now let's get something going here. We need to make up for lost time, right? We're locked onto the tower and boom starting to drop shells like it's no tomorrow doing a good job on this big mama pekka gotta keep her away from the mortar and now look suddenly we are in the lead we got a battle ram coming in hot on the right but my right tower has almost no damage done to it so far so now look at that the left tower is rocketable the bandit gets in there but it's too late <laughs> oh, that was a good one a little bm for me at the end couldn't help it a little unnecessary but we did get a magical chest for our efforts. That was nice. So what I'm trying to do here in my free-to-play account is get this up to Challenger 1. We got close and then we went back down. You know what? Let's just do one more so we can polish off our crowns. Just need one more crown for crown chest. Up against Okiha Itachi. All part of my plan. I'm gonna get my crew together and just start wrecking you kids. with my mortar. Unless you have an Electro Wizard that fouls up my plan. But that's alright. Are we locked on? Nope. Getting caught up on those gobbies. That's annoying. There we go. Now we're locked onto that tower. Let's get one more. One more shell. One more shell. Yes. Yes. I just love that. 
pro 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 tip. And locked on to the tower. Love it. We're just going to ignore those pesky gobbies. We are going to the log because we're going to get a piece of the Electro Wizard and the tower. Single skellies on that incoming miner. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. We have over a 1,000 point lead. The log. They drop a the log. Okay. So what I might do is rock at that tower and polish off the rest of that gobby hut. Now watch this. We are going to get Big Mama Pekka. Yes. I was a little bit worried that the knight was placed a little too far to the right. Focus on Big Mama Pekka, please. This is not good, though. This is not good. They're evening things up here. This is going to be close to our left tower, but that's all right. Because we have their left tower. This is a tight one. Let's just polish it off, shall we? Quick hits. Yeah, this is the real mortar. There we go. Single skellies to deal with that miner. That was key. Time for a the log, although we miss a couple guys. Low battery, great. Thought it was plugged in. Okay, let's get a little rocket value up in here. This is not good. We gotta shut down this damage that's happening. Now would be a good time for a the log, although we missed the electro, which is kind of a bummer. Poison and miner, it's a good combo. Don't ever forget that. Pretty much missed those guys, that's a bummer. But this is looking... I was going to say looking to be a draw. I'm going to freeze him. Oof. That was a tight one. Good game. But we got our one crown that we needed. Let's see what we get. Oh. Are you kidding me? While I'm doing a video? <laughs> yes! What did we get? Oh, the Mega Knight! Okay, upgrade available. That's pretty sweet. Mega Knight. I would never pay for this legendary. But we get a level 2 Mega Knight now. Okay, nice. That was lucky. Let's upgrade it. There you have it. I edited out some ugly games in between there. But, uh, but those are some good ones. And we end with a draw that was definitely going to be a loss for me given another second on the clock so consider ourselves lucky but focus more on that first game you know where i played really well so that is all for a monday see i'm responding to um one of my subscribers who asked for less beavis and butthead sounds there are zero beavis and butthead sounds in this episode it is bereft of beavis and butthead and it's also longer than five minutes i hope you enjoyed something and learned a thing or two as always please do like comment and subscribe brooklyn daddy